Okay. Let's see. Excuse me, mouse. Hey, it's good to go here. Where were we? Fucking shoulder hurts. What were we doing? Oh yeah, I have 11 Estus now. Look at that. <coughs> Make sure the headphones are on the head. Properly. Okay, whoa, spooky people. I'm not sure what this is. I think these are like shades of the people that are playing the game currently. And would be around me if I was human, maybe? Oh, he just wrote something on the ground. Praise the sun. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! I kind of forgot that these things respawn. Slip my heck. Hey, there's my souls from where I died earlier. Look at that. That green thing. Okay, so what's this say? Need humanity, great stuff. Alright, so we were down there, and there was a big dragon went whew, And that's where we died earlier. That is very strange, that does not look like where we died. We died like... Kind of... Where's the wall we died behind? It should be there. That can't be it. It's cool anyway. Okay, so, this lad's up there, throwing stuff down on this narrow passageway. And this guy's kind of like, come get me. But you see, there's a guy behind this piece of wood. Also, like, come get me. And, ooh, that was close. You run down here, and you go into that room, and you get gang-banged. So what you're supposed to really do is... Run down here. And run back. And take them kind of one-on-one in this ledge. But they, can they even get hit? I'm not sure. It was a bit of a lunge. Great stuff. Hard game. Run into the room. Being very careful not to get ambushed. And look very silly about all the times I've said it was a hard game. Bop, bop. Whoa! Bop, bop, bop. Alright, hard game. So. If you run straight on, there's a guy in this room comes up behind you. Shield up. And I think there's a guy in here on the left. So you go in here looking for treasure, and there's a guy right there. And he gives you the dickens as well. So there's a lot of ambushy stuff. Wrecked and wrecked. And you're supposed to, like, if the chain is facing, if the chain is curling towards you, it's not a. Trap chest, can't remember what they're called. What are they called? Mimic. But if it's curled away from you, it is, or if it's on that side, it is, or something like that. I have no idea. Black firebomb, never use anything else other than swords, probably. Wreck the gaff because it's fun. What bit of fun you have in the game. My guy rolls slowly as well because I can't remember what that is. Because my armor is heavy, essentially. The faster you want to roll, the less you. Whoa! I thought it would fucking gone alive again. Stupid. My heart. <laughs> He's coming with me. <laughs> Come on, co-op. Fuck my life. So yeah, you weigh more the more you wear. Very realistic. Three guys here. One at the back throws stuff at you, I think. You run up here. I grow them down. Not a good place to fight. So I like fighting down here. Because your guy will swing a big... Whoa, look at the big swing he's got. And he'll clang on the wall like a big stupid... Oh, what's this? Short sword. I want to check that out. Is that better than the one I have? Which menu do we go in now? Short sword, short sword. I have a broad sword. Short sword is 78, broad sword's 82. I like the higher number. I don't know what it is, but I like the higher number. So if you try and fight here, it'll go like clang. Whoops. Oops, sorry. And then you'll get slapped. They don't have the same restrictions that you do with ow. With hitting through walls. So you. Oop, what's that? Firebombs, cool. If you don't go up here, these guys will pester you forever. Imminent enemy. Eminent imminent. So you go up here. Shield up. Ow, it hurts. Can't attack for some reason. This guy. One, two. They've done silly, and now they die. Hopefully. Ooh! Okay. So, 
this thing is a soul of a lost or dead. Money, but it's money you can collect. How did he write that over there? That's a bait. Try jumping off. He who he. Oh, actually. I mean, a certain death, but. Okay, so this guy over here has jumped onto that and written that message there to try and bait you going over there, but once you go over there, you've no choice but to jump down there and probably get hurt. Oh, this stuff, though. Alright, heck my life. I did it, and it was very difficult. Very tricky jumping mechanics there. Oh, actually, didn't take damage. Sick. Another firebomb. Great. Score. Go up here. I'm gonna have a little drinky soon. I think I bought that key off that merchant, so I should be able to go in here. Use the residence key. And then you go out the back, and I think that's where there's a chest. So you wouldn't have been able to get this chest normally. Also, you can slap them guys from here with firebombs, I guess. Gold pine resin. I think that's for uh, crafting. You can like craft lightning weapons or lightning resistant stuff. Different things like that. So if you go down there and fight those guys, you will very cheaply, as is Dark Souls tradition, get shot in the back by this guy up here. So you have to go up and kill him first. Try beating to a pulp. Thanks for the advice. Woo. One moment, sir. Take a slug of tea. Cover berries. Thanks very much. Come on, quick! Out here. Very difficult combat right now, by the way. As you see, the enemy's making this move very calculated. Oh, oh, no, that wasn't. Oh, there was something there. It just did a stretch, bit of a sidestep. Very confusing. Another one. Throw me off, you see. Throw me off his imminent. Death swing. Any moment now, the combat will show itself for the genius that it is. Fucking idiot. Cool. So, want to aggro these guys? Bam, bam, bam. One at a time. No need to rush in. That's basically the the will to have fun versus patience thing that Dark Souls does. And they're dead. You want to rush in and be like, "Hiya!" But you just can't. You just never can. There's one more guy, right? Maybe not. So if you go down there, I think there's a black knight down here. Where is the sun? I think he's at the end of that corridor. Yeah, so that's a black knight. I think. Pretty sure that's a black knight. You can go up behind him if you sneak and one-shot him. Um, it's a hard fight. That's a hard fight in that corridor. They don't respawn. Everything respawns canonically and. For game purposes, it'd be very boring if you killed everything the first time. They don't respawn. There's no way of knowing that until you try and fight one and end up winning and then die and then or reset and then come back and he's not there. Certain things don't respawn. There's no no, no way of knowing what until you give it a go. Be wary of trap. So Dark Souls, very hard game, very purposeful, very genius game. Anyone who doesn't like it is an idiot. If you go up the stairs, there's a guy up there. And if you go down here trigger him, he'll push down a flaming barrel after you, and that can wreck you too. You just do that and off he goes. I think there's actually something there. Wait, did I just fucking ruin this? Can I get him to wander off by coming at me this way? Yeah, I can. Oof. This combat. So... Again with the Dark Souls thing, it's a linear game, right? But as we've seen already, you go to the Filing Shrine, and there's the right way and the wrong way of going. Fans will be like, there is no wrong way, you just have to get good. No, there's a wrong way, this is wrong, there's an impenetrable wall, you need to get good. John. So, if you are in this tower, and you don't have the master key, you can't go through the door. I have to go a really long way around. So you only get one, you only get one way. What's this thing you can say? Fatty head. If you go down, oh! What was that? Someone lit the fireplace I used with a humanity and it gave me a blessing of an Estus. It refilled my Estus flask? I think that's what just happened there. That was spooky. So down here is, a, is an NPC called Havel. Havel the Rock. The Dragon Slayer. And he uses dragon stuff. And if you go down there exploring all curious and wandering like a little doe-eyed Bambi 
Havel will not enjoy your company, and he will chase you to the ends of the earth until you are dead or you run back all the way to the fireplace and reset. There's a thing in here you're supposed to kill. Oh, I'm so fat, I need to not fat. So you go up instead of down, because down is death. Up is also death, but you go up. I think it's this one. He's in here. There he is. I'm gonna kill these things, they like hidden things. Eh, no! And if you don't, then uh, they disappear and you have to reset. You get Titanite shards and twinkling Titanite shards and blah blah blah. That's how you upgrade your weapons. Can't go up anymore. Can't destroy anything else after these. God, my rolls are so slow. Feck. And this is the boss. First proper boss of the game. Ah, I should look at coffee. This is probably where I die. So if you go forward to where that orange thing over there is, the boss will jump down from the opposite tower and it'll start the boss fight. But this is Dark Souls. It's Dark Souls, so you can't just run forward and trigger the boss. Because two skeletons hidden on this little tower place will shoot you in the back during the boss fight. Because it's cheap. Ow. Getting wrecked by these fucking guys. Oh my god, I'm actually getting wrecked. Stop it, you. Woo. Have a sub. Have another sub. So, now you're not going to get shit. Like, imagine that, but also with the boss. So cheap. There's no need. Because these things are like... Ha ha should have should have looked or when you die you should have learned like the next time like you died of it once and you, that's your fault for not looking um if you died of it twice that's because you're stupid but you will never die to it twice like that's what makes it stupid you'll you'll maybe get caught out once and then you'll be like oh those fucking archers and then the next time you'll come up and kill them and every subsequent time you will come up and kill them and it turns into just a hassle it turns into a task it turns into another checklist another part of the chore you can't just go in and fight the boss. Oops, better not forget about those archers or I'll get the dick again. And Dark Souls is full of that. It's full of gotcha moments that immediately lose all potency because you'll never get gotted by them again. So why put them in there? It could be a nice... Ex it's like someone... It's like an expensive wine and you filter it down with pop or lemonade or some fucking thing. Like filler. It's just pointless filler. You, like that. Once you know about this, you never get caught out about it again. If you do, it is your fault because you just forgot but like you can never just carry on and Dark Souls it, that's replete across this, the, the Dark Souls series and people like it is the other thing they're so they're so craving for any kind of love and affection in their lives the little bit of affection they get when Dark Souls is like you did it victory achieved you beat the boss have a rest at the bonfire it makes up for all the bruises and all the makeup they have to apply to hide the abuse they get from skeleton archers on top of a tower that's born behind a boss stupid Spawn, you fucking kill me. This boss is tricky enough, because they like doing this... When you get later on in the game, you f this boss is not a boss, it's a normal enemy. And there's multiple of them. Uh, a couple of times, actually. There's a couple of times later on in the game where these demon bosses... This is Taurus Demon. You basically go to hell and fight all the demons as normal enemies. But it's just such an open area, you can fight properly. And you can wreck their shit. Hey, look, it's bad guys over there. You absolutely wreck their shit. I mean, they're... You get through them. There's a whole fucking bunch of Taurus demons and Capra demons and all these other bosses. But Dark Souls knows the combat is shocking. They know it's shocking. So they make you fight Taurus demon on this little ledge and they put archers behind you and they put a gap here so he can smash you off and kill you with one shot. And the Capra demon that comes up later on, you fight him with two attack dogs that can stagger you in a tiny, tiny room. You'll see that later on as well. And it's like they know the combat is shocking and clunky and obtuse. And they know that they just want to combo break you and stagger you. Dog hits you, Capra Demon hits you, dog hits you, second dog hits you, Capra Demon hits you again. You don't get a chance to heal, you have to run away. Now your stamina's gone, how are you going to dodge the rock? Oh, you're dead. And it's, they just shrink the area. They don't improve the combat, they just make the area you fight in smaller or weirder or whatever. And then it's like, game is hard. It's like, the game isn't hard, just put me in a fucking cardboard box with a demon. Put me out in the open. It's like the David and Goliath thing when I'm forced to fight under David's or Goliath's foot. So give me out in the open and give me the space I need. And then it's a different fucking story. But alright, Taurus Demon, there he goes. Time to die after that long explanation. 
<laughs> so you can whoop, dodge roll and then give it a give it a tap. That's it. Dodge roll, tap. Come back a bit. Oh yeah, actually, you can. Oh, shit, I did this wrong. Come on, up, back up. On camera and sprint up to this ladder. Sladder. And if you're very quick, not spooked, and not spooked, and not spooked. Oh. Dear me. So you go up the ladder. You can't do this often because you'll learn. But you can do a drop down thing again. And look at his health. Chunked. You run. Oh, shit, actually. So you can kind of fight him that way. Whoa. I can't see shit. This is a great view. Out of balls. Whoops, a daisy. Whoa! Whoops! I wanna run back this way actually. No, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, I wanna run him back this way. And then he's gonna do this. Nah, he got me a bit. Fuck you. Excuse me. Oh, fuck, I can't get through. I'm gonna try that again. Unlock. Run up the stairs. Can't see. There we go. Ah! Quick, quick! <laughs> no! Sort out and then push down. Ow, da, 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 da. Take a slug of berries, real quick. And hop in the hoop. Go through the legs. Get stamina back. You can't hold up your shield all the time, you'll always run out of stamina. Get any attacks in there. Stamina is full. Whoa! Jesus! I tend to just like do the through the legs thing. Give the two slaps, and that's it. Two slaps, that's it. Any more? No, 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 no. Oh, don't do it. You bad boy. Ah! Don't be mean, don't be mean! Oh my god. Okay, sort out. Calm down. He's like a bird. Got him. Throws us off. Hitting the nuts. And he's dead. Victory achieved! Yeah, thanks, game. Whatever. Keep your fucking patronizing shit. Get a humanity and a bone, because I could have right the fuck off. Run through here. Humdy humdy who. Nothing in this. Nothing in these, though they are fun to run through. I think there's something here. Large soul of a lost undead. Ah, excuse me. Drake, ahead. Okay, so, where are we? This is where Solaire of Astaire is staring into the... Over there. He's over there. That's the Praise of Sun guy. We'll talk to him in a sec. But I'll try and find a save point. Where is the save point? Oh yeah, so... This is Dark Souls. So you're like, you've just beaten the boss, yeah? Feeling good. Feeling shaky, it's nervous, it's very hard combat, it's the hardest game we've ever played, it's literally a possible game with the possible combat. And you can only beat it if you're very, very, very good at games, the best. So you're like, okay, cool. Don't know where to go, because there's a door here, so... Ooh. Spooky Dragon comes running over and fucking... Look at the damage you just did. If I wasn't full health after that very, very hard boss fight, it was very, very hard. I'd be dead. Cheap. Cheap. It's so cheap. You can't go through the door, that was all I was trying to show. So you come running across this bridge being like, surely, it's fine. Nope. And you don't know where to go, so you're trying to get past the dragon. If you go straight on, you die. Sick. You have to go down here, and you might die to the dragon if you're not high enough health. And the, like people will just be like, well you should have gotten good then, why did you leave yourself with such low health? It's like I was in a boss fight. This is Dark Souls. No one's used to this stuff yet. Like, why? Once you know the dragon's there, it's a, it's again the skeleton notch things. Once you know the dragon's there, and you take a step on the bridge, you know a dragon's gonna come, and he's gonna breathe fire on you, and you're gonna die. So it never happens again. So why do it the first time? Because you know it's cheap, Dark Souls. You fucking know it's cheap. You know it's gonna catch people out, and you love it. Because that's the only way you can fucking get off. So, you come down this here, and you go kick that ladder, and you go back to the room you were at. And this is the 
checkpoint we were at before. Um, where we went out here and then we went across there and there was the guys up there throwing bombs down and we died down here, that was our souls from before. And we kicked down the ladder that was there. Where was it? Right here. And made a shortcut by beating the boss. And now we rest. Please, for the love of God game, save. And that'll do for whatever part this is. Remember to like, subscribe, ring the bell. Uh, subscribe to my Patreon, give me loads of money, thanks very much. Alt tab and click.